What's happening guys? I'm Ryan. I've been hacking things my whole life. This video is about 3D printing, making money with 3D printing, um, and it is specifically about um, resin printing. I'm going to talk to you very briefly about what resin printing is. If you already know it, this is just a tip about making little tiny people like these and like these making a boatload of money on eBay, Amazon, let go and offer up. I'm gonna talk about that right after this. Thanks for being here. All right, so when I first started thinking about doing these dioramas, these model, um, railroad designs. I'm doing a Pinewood Derby thing. I wanted to order these 3D people in different positions. And then I'm like, well, why would I do that? Um, the real challenge is painting them. So I found someone to paint them. Um, I had hired my daughter to do construction cones for my racing series, and she is now going to be painting these 3D people. But then I started to um, think about, as I went through this process, about how much they actually cost. And some of the high-end ones, and not the imported ones, the 3D people don't have a lot of detail and they go for a lot of money. So, if you were to spend some time learning how to paint these miniatures in a really nice way, this is just a little tray here that I made. I laser cut this tray and then I put them with double stick tape so I can go ahead and put them back. Sydney will go ahead and paint these. This, these are the two stars of my show. This is Ryan and that's Brian. And um, they, they, I needed to be able to pull them out. I chose to do them in primer gray, um, but originally they were clear coated. Let me show you an example of a model that I think that would make quite a bit of money. Um, these are G scale. These are two inches tall. These models right here, I'm gonna show you that resin printing. These models right here, are approximately an inch tall, and those are O gauge for the O gauge model um, uh, railroad. Now I started to think about what would make my racing series unique, so I thought about why don't every one of them have a driver. I went ahead and did this driver as an SLA, that's just the lines, it's not the resin printing. And I got a pretty good product, but I'd probably need to paint it and obviously clip all the hairs out. I'm not very particular about 3D printing in terms of that, uh, in terms of until I start selling a product, but this is something I'm really interested in, in creating these scenes because it has a really cool storyline to it. But here's one of the cool ones that I made. This is a cockpit driver of uh, an old school um, drag racer. You can see that he has the parachute and he has the steering wheel, but this is clear resin. It's UV cured after it's done so it does yellow. I have not yet been able to find a resin that stays crystal clear. The reason why that you UV these models is that it cures them and makes them really strong and not super strong. Yeah, it depends so on what much it. resin The two differentiators get. of why you're going to make money with um, making 3D resin miniatures is first of all, you need to get yourself a 3D printer, but you can, the 3D resin printer, but you can print a lot of characters at one time. So what I think is really, really cool is once you get past the resin printing thing that prints very, very high detail, you're going to want to um, be able to um, move these characters in different poses and paint them extremely well with all of the detail. Now these are O gauge, which are a little bit more difficult to do. You actually have to use a toothpick to paint the face and stuff like that. But again, I just used a grade gray sandable primer and that's how I got to where I am. So as far as resin printing going, that was a huge adjustment to me. I went with the um, Anycubic Photon, the higher end one, and it's printing over there right now. I'm gonna have a um, whole nother batch of people, some zombies and some other characters for my race. And then I'm gonna be listing each one of these characters online because I know I can replicate it on eBay 
to sell them for train models for G scale, which is the um, garden variety train set. Now here's what's interesting is once you get this model correct, you can just scale them up or down inside of your photo slicer. So if you're using fo a photon, any cubic, the resin printer that I use, um, then you would just use their slicer, which is pretty good. MakerBot or Prusa or whatever printer that you're having, you're gonna be able to scale those up or down. So I can't imagine if you were able to do a set like this, you would really be able to crank these things out and to have a really consistent income. And once you would package them up nicely and I die cut this tray on my laser cutter and I would put a top on it and I would package it really nice. And I maybe I'll put a couple extra characters, but once you paint them, you're going to want to protect them in shipping. So that's a really, that's a third thing. So the first thing is you got to be able to do them in different poses. So you got to be able to move them in 3d second thing. And that gives you the, the copyright to sell them. If you can make them the second thing, is is you have to be able to paint them with detail and I think once you check them out on Amazon and other stuff you can start get a following and if your quality of work um, is up there where you get some face detail and stuff like that using that toothpick um, as a paintbrush then you will really kind of go to town making money with 3d resin um, miniatures